I am so, so, so sorry. I'm so sorry. You didn't deserve that, and I should have been better. But before I get into that, I want to pick two winners from the comments. So the first winner from the comments is... Gabriel. Thank you so much for your comment. I loved it. it means a lot. I am grateful for you. The second winner is... Ren. I love this comment. Thank you so much for leaving it. And remember that I pick two winners from the comments every single video to give you a shout out. So if you want a shout out, go ahead and comment on this video. All right, now it's time to get on to the video. I really do need to apologize. I am very sorry because I've led you astray. I told you things that weren't true. What? And I made a point that wasn't actually right or wasn't true. Basically, I gave you bad advice and I told you something that wasn't right. And I told you something that wasn't true. And I am really, really sorry. You're probably wondering what I'm talking about. So let me tell you. You might remember a couple months ago, I made a video with Kesley Leroy called How to Talk to Your Crush. It's that one right there. So in that video, I was very specific about things that you should and shouldn't do, you should and shouldn't say, and ways to act around your crush, ways to talk to your crush. You should not text him too much and not give him too much information and not let him know that you're too interested and all of these obnoxious things that I was telling you that that's how you communicate with boys. And you know what, I was right to an extent because certain types of guys will respond really well to that kind of behavior, but that's not the kind of guy you want. And see, the reason why I was so confident in what I was saying at that time is because I was kind of seeing a guy that responded well to that kind of stuff. He wanted me to be aloof, he wanted me to be mysterious, and he liked the idea of not knowing whether or not I liked him. Do you see how silly that sounds? He liked the idea of not knowing if I liked him. Girls, right there, that's a red flag. That's not someone you want to invest any time or attention into. And unfortunately, I got caught up in that and yeah, he didn't last for long. He totally ghosted me, totally just like peaced out with no warning. And that was just kind of a testament to me that even if you do all of those things right, like I talked about in the video, it still doesn't get you the right guy. The right guy doesn't need you to be mysterious and leave him hanging and ignore him and delay plans and ditch him or uh, what else did I say? And all of the other stuff that I mentioned in that video. The right guy doesn't need all of those things because I realized after having dated some of the right guys, at the end of the day, there's not too much you can do to mess it up when it's with the right person. For example, I dated somebody over the summer and we're not together anymore obviously so it didn't work out, but at the time during that relationship, it was the right person, right? And we broke all of those standard dating rules. I mean, our first date was like pretty typical, but our second date was like literally like a marathon date. I think I was with him from like 2 p.m. to like midnight. And normally I would say no, oh, no, 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 no. Like on a second date, there's no way you should spend that much time with someone because he's gonna lose interest in you right away. You gave him way too much of your time at the beginning. He won't value you. He won't really care that much about you. He'll just disappear because you gave him too much too soon, right? That kind of advice is consistent with the advice that I gave in my October video. But the truth is, that guy and I dated. Like he became my boyfriend and we dated for several months. Even though that like, marathon date on the second date would typically break the advice rules, it didn't matter because at the time he was the right person. He was the right person for me, he was the right kind of guy that I was looking for, and I was the girl he was looking for, and there wasn't much we could do to mess it up. Now, I'm not a proponent, I'm not saying that you should take every second date on a marathon date, it's just kind of the way that it worked out that day. But my point is, is that if you're dating the right person or if you're seeing the right person, you shouldn't have to stress too much about, oh, did I respond too quickly or, oh, am I agreeing to see them too soon or, oh, am I um, unavailable enough or, oh, am I mysterious enough? Because the right guy isn't gonna really need you to play all those games. I didn't play games like that with the guy that I dated and you know what? He was way more interested in me than the October guy ever was. So that's why I need to apologize because I gave you advice that is only applicable to a certain type of guy. And really, it's only applicable to the type of guy you don't want to be dating. I have made a new pact, a new decision. I will never waste time on guys like that again because they don't deserve my time. I'm not gonna wait around for someone who just puts in little nuggets of effort to see if I'm gonna still be there or if I'm still interested. I don't have time for somebody like that. Bye, bye, bye. I want a guy that wants to spend time with me, that wants to talk to me, that wants to hear from me, and is not gonna play stupid games about like, oh, well, it's too soon, or oh, well, I'm 
letting on too much or I, I don't I don't have time for that and and frankly you shouldn't either if a guy is making you play games to keep his interest trust me he's not the right guy for you it took me a long time to come to this conclusion because I remember hearing of stories of like my friends who are married or my friends who are in serious relationships and they would say oh yeah after we met we literally saw each other every single day and I would think to myself you did? Are you crazy? I would never let myself see a guy that I'm interested in every single day because I'd be too afraid that I'd be giving him too much time and too much attention and that he would lose interest in me. There's no way. There's no way I would let a guy see me every single day because then he'd just walk away, right? You have to space it out. You have to keep him wanting more. You have to keep the chase going. Like, that's what I would always say. And the guys that I've done that with, where are they? Like, they're literally not here anymore. And the guys that were right for that person, it didn't matter if they saw them every single day or they talked every single day till 2 a.m. because it was the right person for them and there wasn't too much that they could do to mess that up. You don't have to stress too much about all the games and all the little special tactics and things that I talked about before because if it's the right person it won't matter. There is somebody that's right for everyone. I mean people who are needy, people who are distant, like there is someone who is right for everyone. If someone doesn't meet your needs, that's okay. They're just not the right fit for you. I've learned that there's something called attachment styles, and I'm not going to get too much into that in this video, but different people attach to people in different ways, and not everybody is going to match your attachment style. Anyways, I guess the main point of this video is that I'm really sorry for giving you advice that maybe is only applicable to a very small selection of people, and the kind of people that you really shouldn't be dating anyways. At the end of the day, I hope you'll remember that if somebody is right for you, there's not too much you can do to mess it up. That doesn't mean that you should go crazy. <laughs> be like obsessive and nuts and whatever and and just assume that they'll still like you but it does mean that you shouldn't have to worry too much about playing games and being careful and tiptoeing around the relationship because the right person will like you either way okay well that's all i've got for you today if you found this video helpful i hope you'll leave a comment below and as always let me know if you have any other topics you want to see me talk about thank you so much for hanging out with me and i'll be back soon with another video love you sis bye